What's next? Fears about yourself is the next big chapter here. I'm listening now. I don't know where, where along this he said it, but I wrote this down and I really liked it. Fears about yourself prevent you from doing your best work. Fears about others prevent you from doing your own work. That's good. So, either way, fear prevents you from doing stuff. <laughs> fears about yourself. So, maybe insecurities, thinking you're not good enough, um, being, you know, seeing how good other people are and that you don't have that. Um, that'll prevent you from doing your best stuff. If you fear what others might think of you, you start catering your work towards them and their thoughts and now it's not your work anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. I think that kind of summarizes this whole big chapter. Keep going though. You said you had a lot to say yeah. about this chapter on fears about yourself. He has a section in this on pretending. Um, I like that part. And he says, you may feel like you're pretending to be an artist. There's no way to pretend you're making art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. You're, yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> the general idea that I got from that his take on pretending is that it's not good to pretend. That if you don't ever come to terms with yourself as being yourself, that you pretend to be someone else. That you're always oh, oh, going yes. to be doing that. You're always going to be pretending to be someone else. You have to be yourself. I the whole time I was reading it though, I had this just this idea that I remember when I was a student, I would always pretend to be someone else, and it really did help me learn. Now I yes. I know that th this might be a difference. That what what I'm saying, what he's saying, pretending to be someone when you're learning. It might be different than pretending to be someone else when you're trying to create art. But still, I, I, I never kind of, maybe I missed that part, but he never, I, I never read a part where he says it's okay to pretend every once in a while, at least in the early stages. You know, doing master studies, you, you kind of have to pretend a little bit sometimes. And when I was st st um, studying with Jeff Watts, I would always pretend that was him. I would like, I would try to get into his mind and feel mm -hmm. like, okay, what, what would it be like to have his confidence? And kind of getting into that mindset would give me the confidence to put down those strokes that I thought, th that I wanted to copy him doing. It, it got me into the mindset that I could be as good as him because I'm pretending I am him. I, I don't know, I, I, I felt like pretending is, was an important part of my learning. There is great value in pretending, I think. Mm. Uh, but here's where we run into the problem of defining terms. And a good deal of the second part of this book, or at least the middle part, was where the quibbling could be about what you mean by the word art. Right. The next part was on talent. Here's another quote yeah. by him. Uh, by definition, what you have is exactly what you need to produce your best work. And that made so much sense to me. It's like, by definition, what you have right now is exactly what you need to create your best work that you are capable of right now. Right. How could it be otherwise? Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, there's no way you can argue that. <laughs> There's no, but the fact that it's so obviously true is a little, it's kind of motivating, I think. Like, okay, I guess I am capable of producing my best work at this moment. Mm -hmm. Might as well focus on that. There's, you know, this is something we can control is being able to produce the best work that we can at this moment. Why focus on the stuff we can't do? I understand. I mean, I, have, I actually have an answer to why, why focus on the stuff we can't do. Go ahead. As a, what, student, what, how... as a student, it's important to focus on that stuff so that you can ex, uh, expand on what is your best work. Okay. What is your possible, what is possible for you to do? Okay. You have to constantly be figuring out what you can't do and how to get there. But when do you stop that? When do you stop being a student and trying to 
and just start tr- focusing on producing your best work at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think even in discussing this book, we are starting to pick up some of this chasing theoretical trains of thought that I come back and say, well, why should I put a lot of energy into chasing that? Where does it leave me? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally get you. I felt the same the way. The thing about talent... But it could be fun. By definition, talent, whatever you have is exactly what you need to produce your best work. And then a, uh, a couple pages later, they say talent is a snare and a delusion. In the end, the practical questions about talent come down to these. Who cares? Who would know? <laughs> and what difference does it make? And the practical answers are nobody, nobody, and none. I believe in talent. I know that that's not all that popular. I do believe there's such a thing as talent, but this is something I've concluded f- since about 20 years ago. What difference does it make? Yeah. Because if talent is not real, get to work. And if talent is real, <laughs> yeah. get, get to, to work. work. <laughs> 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 